What's the best way to clean your teeth at home? Hi, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist here to talk about cleaning your teeth at home. I'm going to start with a strong statement. Don't use scalers! I've been professionally trained to use scalers in dental hygiene school and I can't even clean my teeth at home properly with scalers. When I clean my patient's teeth, they are lying in my lap upside down so I can properly get the correct angles and visibly see exactly what I'm doing, right? But at home, you can't do that to yourself. So with that, I will link my scaling at home video in the description box if you'd like to learn more about the dangers of trying to use a scaler on your own teeth. But for the purpose of this video, how to safely clean your teeth at home, the goal of cleaning your teeth at home is to not need Need to use scalers. Scalers remove tartar, but you can prevent the formation of tartar by removing plaque at home. So hear me out. To remove plaque at home properly, what you're gonna start with is a toothbrush. It's as simple as that. You should be brushing your teeth twice each day for two minutes each time. In the morning before breakfast is actually ideal. I also have a video explaining why before versus after is actually better, which I'll also link if you're interested. And then of course, right before bed is the second time to brush each day. I'm all about electric toothbrushes because they do the work for you, right? You can be a not so great brusher, not have the best manual dexterity, but electric toothbrushes will still provide you with great results. But of course, if you like, if you prefer your manual toothbrush, that's fine. You do you. Just make sure you are using it correctly. That goes for both types of toothbrushes, the electric and the manual. It's super important to understand that a manual toothbrush versus an electric toothbrush, they both actually require totally different techniques and how you should be using them in your mouth. So as you may have guessed it, I'll also link my how-to videos in the description box as well. And when you're brushing, I'm all about using a fluoride toothpaste. Fluoride is proven to prevent tooth decay and remineralize tooth enamel, meaning it really works to reduce your risk of cavities. And it's the only ingredient that's approved by the American Dental Association to do just that, prevent cavities. And if for some reason you don't like fluoride, I will link my natural toothpaste video in the description box, which talks more about hydroxyapatite toothpaste. Next up, cleaning between your teeth. To properly clean your teeth at home, you can't just brush. Brushing is great. It cleans the fronts and the backs and the chewing surfaces of your teeth. However, those surfaces combined are only 60% of your tooth. The other 40% is where the toothbrush doesn't reach. That's in between your teeth. 40% is a huge percentage. You don't wanna miss cleaning 40% of your teeth. To clean between your teeth, I'm all about the floss. But you gotta make sure you're doing it correctly, of course. And of course, and of course, of course, I'll link my how-to videos in the description box. Everyone can benefit from flossing. But if for some reason you really, really aren't into the traditional string floss or you have a hard time holding the floss, you can always try floss picks and or water flossers and or interdental brushes. I'll link all of my how-to videos and my flossing alternatives video. I'll link all my videos in the description box. Just remember that you should be cleaning between your teeth at least once per day, preferably before you go to sleep at night. And lastly, although this isn't for your teeth, for a sparkling clean fresh mouth, I do recommend that you use a tongue scraper at least once a day as well. Your tongue is known for harboring as much as 90% of the bacteria that causes bad breath. And bacteria in your mouth can spread, so cleaning your tongue daily is just as important as brushing and flossing your teeth. As for mouthwash, use it or don't use it. It really doesn't make or break your clean mouth unless you are cavity or gingivitis prone. If you are cavity or gingivitis prone, then maybe you'd wanna add it to your routine. But if not, just focus on proper brushing, flossing, and tongue scraping, all those ways to mechanically remove plaque and bacteria from your mouth, and you'll be all set. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe and turn on your notifications if it did. If you want more Teeth Talk, you can visit my website, teethtalkgirl.com, and hang out with me on Instagram at teethtalkgirl. Until next time, peace, love, and teeth. Clean teeth at home.